Rail Fair 1999 was the last event at the California State Railroad Museum to attract so many large steam locomotives. It was held in conjunction with the 150th anniversary of the State of California. The actual event ran from June 18th through the 27th. However, several other events took place starting almost a month before. The Union Pacific had just completed renovating its Roseville classification yard and was celebrating the grand opening on May 26th. Consequently, they brought the UP 844 and 3985 West on May 21st. The UP Historic Diesels 951 and 949 arrived separately. A shipper special with the UP 844 was run on June 4th, and an Operation Lifesaver special ran to Davis with the 3985 on June 8th. The UP, now owning the SP, no longer allowed any foreign steam locomotives over this portion of its railroad, but consented to allow Santa Fe 3751 and SP 4449 in because BNSF had operating rights over the UP through Sacramento due to the merger. Those locomotives had to operate as freight trains with no paying passengers. Consequently, no excursions were run with those locomotives. The 3751 arrived on June 15th with boxcars and departed on June 29th with hoppers. The 4449 arrived on June 14th with a boxcar buffer and a flat with the Mount Emily Lumber Company Shea No. 1 on it for rail fare. Its passenger cars were only for the crew. SP-2467 arrived with torpedo boat GP-9-5623 over the Cal P under the auspices of the Capitol Corridor. Sierra Railway No. 28 made its way via BNSF to Stockton and the Central California Traction Company to Polk, where it was shuttled by a UP switcher to rail fare. The Feather River Railroad Society sent GP-20-2001 down the Feather River route from Portola, California. Since that time, the Union Pacific chokehold tightened around Sacramento, ruling out the possibility of any such event ever happening again except for their own steam program.
several excursions were run during rail fare. On June 22, using mostly Amtrak equipment, an excursion was run from Sacramento down the former Western Pacific Line to Stockton, then via the BNSF through Franklin Canyon to Richmond. On the 24th, a similar trip was run over Altamont Pass to Oakland. The Union Pacific ran the 844 with an excursion on the 23rd to Tehama, and a diesel-powered excursion up the Feather River Canyon to Ketty on the 26th. This trip was originally supposed to feature UP 3985, however, on June 24th, the UP 844 suffered a tube failure while on display at rail fair. Because the tubes in the 3985 were the same type, it was decided to substitute a diesel, UP9326, to be safe until the 844 failure could be thoroughly investigated. Returning to Cheyenne, the 844 was towed dead in consist by the 3985. While Rail Fair 99 was in progress on the east side of the Sacramento River, on the west side, the Yolo Short Line was putting on their own show. On June 22nd, they ran their regular freight from Woodland to West Sacramento with SP-1233. The little 060 switcher had no trouble going to West Sacramento, but when it was time to go home, the train was just too heavy to make it up the embankment to Micon. Half the train had to be left behind in order to return to Woodland. short line also ran a photo freight with a passenger chase train south from West Sacramento to Clarksburg on June 26th. As you can tell, some events were overlapping, forcing one to choose which to attend, a choice many wish they could deal with today. According to the California State Railroad Museum website, there may be another rail fair if and when the Rail Technology Museum is completed around 2020. Don't hold your breath. <music> rail Fair 1999 was an action-filled event full of steam locomotives, excursions, and fun. It was a very busy time for rail fans. Thank you.